Okay, so here's the question. We have to relate a satellite's period with an asteroid's period. And we're given some information about the asteroid and the satellite's um, radius of curvature. So we have to find an equation first that relates period with radius, and that's Kepler's third law. And Kepler's third law basically says that radius cubed over period squared equals a constant. Now, let's label the satellite as being S and the um, asteroid as being A. So we say that R A cubed over T A cubed equals R S cubed over T A S cubed. In other words, since this is always true, then it must be true at some for some particular object and some particular other object. They both equal k. If they both equal k, then they equal each other. Okay, so let's label a couple things in the question. We have this, the satellite's period. This guy here, that's t satellite, and our goal is t asteroid. Now we need some way of relating our asteroid to our satellite. Now these aren't equal, but we want to put a number in here. And here's how I think about this. We'll look at the data here. An asteroid orbits the sun with twice the orbital radius. This means that the asteroid's orbital radius is twice that of the satellite, which means that the RA is bigger than the RS. If that's true, then we've got to put the 2 with the smaller one. The satellite has a smaller radius, we need to have the 2 with the satellite. So we need to have a 2 right here. Okay, now we can replace our A with 2 times our S. So we're just going to plug this guy right into here. So we do that. Um, let's use green pen. So then we're going to replace our A with 2RS, but we'll still cube that over TA. Oops, this should be a squared. This should be a squared. This should be a squared. Equals RS cubed over TS squared. So with a little bit of work, we get this. Note, we have cubed the 2 to make it an 8, and everything else stays as is. So if we look at this guy now, we see we have a cubed RS and a cubed RS. We can cancel those out. So this just becomes, we can solve that by just rooting both sides. So we can just root this side and root this side. That'll give us the square root of 8 times TS equals TA. And in this case, TS is 100. You look really bored from that